Hey guys, welcome to my Spin Rewriter review video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to get if you decide to get Spin Rewriter. We're going to cover what it's most commonly used for. We're going to cover the pricing as you can see here. And I'm also going to show you a demo of how to actually use this software. And most importantly, how to use it in the new interface. As you can see, Spin Rewriter has gotten a whole new look. It's got a redesign, which means the actual software also got a redesign. And we're going to cover that here shortly. All right, so let's get started with what Spin Rewriter is most commonly used for in in internet marketing. As you can see here, I've got three bullet points of the most commonly used uses of Spin Rewriter. This is from a review on my blog. I'll tell you more about that later, but let's focus in here. First up is mass page affiliate sites. So what affiliate marketers do with Spin Rewriter is they create these mass page sites. A lot of articles just spun right and guess what they put their affiliate link in there and they target different keywords for their products that they're promoting or services that they're promoting and this is a shotgun approach of getting a lot of affiliate marketing income and clicks to your affiliate links so that's one way of doing things with spin rewriter it's a very popular way somewhat underground we'll talk about that more later i actually have a bonus free course explaining to you how to do affiliate marketing with mass page affiliate sites all right next up is web 2.0 content web 2.0s are just are just sites that are controlled by different properties such as google or wix or tumblr it could be wordpress.com things of that nature it's used in the seo world for link building so that's one way another way is when an seo software needs spun content some of those software can integrate with Spin Rewriter via API. So those are the three main common uses of Spin Rewriter. And as you can see, they're all SEO related in one way or another. All right, before we get to the demo, let's quickly talk about Spin Rewriter and its pricing options. As you can see here right now, because of the launch special, Spin Rewriter is a yearly price of $77 right now. So you can get that and be paying that every year. And it's a launch deal of 60% off. It's usually $197 and you get everything that the software has to offer plus these bonuses that they deliver. And of course, you're also going to get my bonus, which is the free mass page affiliate course on how to build those type of websites while using Spin Rewriter as one of the tools that you're going to eventually need to create those type of sites anyway. As you can see, there's also a monthly option, $47 per month, and you can just buy it outright and never pay monthly or yearly. That's the route I went. That's a single payment of $497. Now this pricing page is currently on during the launch special, so make sure to take advantage of it right now. You can go to the link below and start your free trial or get the single payment, whatever you'd like. I'll also have a uh, URL that you can go to called spinrwlaunchspecial.com and that URL is going to take you to this launch deal pricing page. So make sure to use one of those two options to get to this pricing. Now with that out of the way guys, let's get started with the new Spin Rewriter demo and tutorial so you know exactly how Spin Rewriter has been updated from its previous version and how it's much cleaner and easier to use than ever before. All right, guys, let's get started here with the demo. Uh, this is the new Spin Rewriter dashboard. It looks a lot cleaner than before if you've ever seen it in the past. It's a big upgrade, guys. So let's get started with the demo by clicking on Rewrite a Single Article. And of course, you can rewrite multiple articles at once. But for this tutorial slash demo, we're going to just do one. And for this example, I already have an article here pulled up. It's about email marketing. So I am just going to paste that in there and you would do the same thing with whatever article you want to rewrite. And as you can see here, there are three simple steps. There's step one, step two, and step three. Let's finish step one right now by entering in our article and we can click rewrite article right now or we can configure the settings, which is a big improvement as well. Settings used to be all over the place, but now you can see that these settings are all in one and you can just change in between these little sub menus and each one gets an explanation of what it's going to do, what the software is going to do. So if I click this and I wanna automatically rewrite sentences, I can just switch it on or off, okay? 
and it will also tell you that the sentence and paragraph rewrites will be applied as you proceed in step two. If you don't know what something is, then you can go ahead and click on this little eye icon for more information, and it'll explain exactly what's gonna happen here with an example as well. All right, so usually I just keep these off unless I really need a unique article, and you'll see more of that later and in my review article. So let's go ahead and click on words and phrases for now, but I usually leave this part here in the make more make it more readable in the recommended option but this is important at least for me the protected keywords are important because depending on the article i might want to protect some keywords so for example let's say email marketing funnel is in this article well i don't want funnel to be replaced by a synonym that would be something that the spin rewriter would automatically do if i didn't tell it not to do that so i don't want the word funnel used as a synonym or replaced by a synonym. I don't want email replaced by a synonym. I don't want marketing replaced by a synonym. All right, so those three words I wanna protect. So let's click okay here. Let's click okay. Then click rewrite article so we can get to step two, which is selecting words and phrases that you want, that you're comfortable with before it gives you the final product. Yeah, so I'll let this run through here. I won't put pause or anything. All right, so step two is finished, and as you can see, there are at least billions of possible versions based off of what it has already done for you. So at this point in time, the only thing that you have to really look over here is maybe skim through this and see if all the words and synonyms are okay. And if you don't understand what spin text format is, which is what you're looking at here with the curly brackets, make sure to check out my review article because I'll explain that in there and give you an example. But basically what it's doing is it's giving different synonyms for the original word, which was significance here. And then it's saying, okay, out of these billion different uh, options of unique articles, we can switch significance or to, with importance, or we can switch it with relevance. And if you click on the blue highlighted or the blue fonted words, you can, add more synonyms to it. So for example, the authority and benefits of email marketing. If you don't want that, if that doesn't sound fine, then unclick it and that's pretty much it. So as you can see, this is kind of tedious if you were going to do it one by one or do it yourself, but that's what step two is all about. If you want to do that, you can. So next up is step three. Let's go to there by clicking finalize article and spin rewriter just like that is done. So Spin Rewriter here has just given me a article basically in spin text format. And with this type of format, you can copy and paste this, for example, into your WordPress website. And then once you click publish, you're not going to see this in spin text format. It's actually gonna produce a unique article because WordPress knows how to read spin text format. But if you're using it for other uses, then what you can do is click this orange button here or yellow button and click generate a new article. This is what I would do if I were posting or publishing this article on a Web 2.0 website, for example. And as you can see, it has a uniqueness score of 94% compared to the original. I usually like to stick to 95% and up. I can just keep clicking this until I get to 95% or higher. And if I can't find one, that's fine. I mean, 94 is fine, but here we go. I found it. So the relevance, and also benefits of email marketing. So as you can see, it's not the king's English here. It's definitely not going to be 100% English and grammar, but it is one of the best spin rewriter tools when compared to its competitors such as Word AI and, oh, I forgot the other one right now, um, but I'll have it in my review article. But that's pretty much the demo for Spin Rewriter, guys. It's one of the most time-tested Spin Rewriter tools. I think it's been out on the market for almost 10 years now. So a decade, they've been improving and relaunching this software. And especially this time around, they're, they really took a big step because they changed up the whole interface. They made it a lot more user friendly. All right, guys, that does it for my Spin Rewriter 10 review video. If you guys do want to get spin rewriter make sure to go to spin rwwatchspecial.com and i will deliver you that bonus mass page affiliate site 
to where you're going to need a tool just like Spin Rewriter to make all those articles and start making affiliate commissions. So that's gonna be delivered in your Spin Rewriter dashboard. So make sure when you log in to get a hold of that, it'll be in a URL format. So you'll be able to get access to the course in that manner. With that being said, remember there is a link in the description below to my actual Spin Rewriter review article, which has a lot more details about Spin Rewriter. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more review videos just like this one. Talk to you soon.